Hi, um, this is the Ivy League Astrologer, and I am doing a reading for the rest of December um, for Vedic Leos. Um, I've recently gotten more into Vedic Astrology, and I really love to watch the, uh, the tarot and rune predictions on YouTube. Um, but I had like a whole Western versus Vedic um, kind of lost in the woods moment. Um, and so I did a whole bunch of translating Western signs to Vedic signs and whatever. But I figured maybe if there's anybody else in my situation, I would just do Vedic readings and see how that is. Um, so this is my first time trying this for YouTube. So bear with me. Um, okay. So I'm going to do a tarot reading for Vedic Leos for the month of December. Um, for the rest of the month, it is currently mid-month. And Let's just see what else is happening for you guys. I didn't want to do a whole January one. That seems like it's just too far away. Okay, no. Nobody wants to come out. The Vedic Leos, right? Okay, Vedic Leos. All right. This is coming up to. Okay. Um, so I'm kind of doing this free form right now. I'm going to experiment a little bit with what layouts work for this. But um, my intention here is to read for Vedic Leos for the month of December. Um, so the first card that came up was the Lovers. That came shooting out of the deck, wanted to come. Um, and it's next to the moon in reverse, which I think can mean um, something that you sensed was going to happen, maybe happening, but not in the way that you thought it was going to happen. Um, for me, the moon card always has, strikes a balance between being sort of peaceful and being weary, maybe. Maybe just sad. There's a little element of despair here um, and sharpness, um, tears. There's definitely some emotional hurt going on in a long path that's maybe either been going on for a long time or is... Um, the pain has come in the process of working out something pretty big. Um, the waters are moving. Um, something's happening. There's something coming from deep within, something coming from out of the water. Um, that little lobster down there is kind of scuttling out um, up towards the moon and sun, up towards the light. Um, it's on the path. It's on the path. It's just at the very beginning of the path, honestly. Um, so things are shifting, things are moving, but they're not happening in the way that maybe you thought they would happen. And maybe they're not happening in the time frame you thought they would happen. Maybe it's just a different story than the one you've been telling yourself. There is a coming together of some kind. People from disparate backgrounds, different perspectives, different views of the world. One of these people knows it's coming, has known it's coming, has been waiting for it. The other one's just waking up to it right now. Um, hmm. The waves are moving. You don't know what to do. Maybe this person who's just waking up to this reality um, 
just waking up to this other way of seeing things is not sure about it. <laughs> not feeling so great about this new vision. Like, I don't know, do I do this? Do I do that? What do I... It's uncertain. You're doing the dance. You're just a little seasick. Things are rolling and moving in a way that you are not certain about. You're looking within about it. It's in, internal discomfiture, internal processing and uncertainty. Kind of a vertigo, maybe. Um, and there's messages, there's news from this person who's not so sure about this new process. There's ships that are on the sea. Could be bringing a lot of different things. Could be bringing witches. Could be bringing disease. <laughs> but they're coming in. <laughs> coming in on rough seas. But they're coming in. So there's news from this person. Um, the news dar is darted, is what I was going to say, which is not really a word in this context, but the news is stacked on top of each other. It's, you know, there's layers to it, but I think it's moving towards a peaceful solution. Um, I'm not as sure about that, but I think so. Something pastoral underneath it, even though it's maybe a little sharp or pointed to begin with. There is a realization, again, a realization, I think. Um, there is a, a breaking down of old structures, old mental structures, old emotional structures. This is painful. It's time. It's overdue. <laughs> it's overdue. It's overdue for this to happen. Um, that doesn't mean it feels good. It doesn't mean it leaves you in this position of the man who's juggling who has this internal vertigo and he's feeling a bit like a dunce in his extended cap. Belt's tight and clothes are ragged. Yeah. It's uncomfortable. But it's un in inevitable, it's unavoidable. It's happening, it's gotta happen. And it relates to some dream that you once had. It was a dream that was beautiful. There was a dream, there was a moment that felt like, wow. Wow, what couldn't happen here? Everything could be fine. But it's a moment, it's not, you know. Time has a different story to tell about this moment than how you felt about it at the time. Um, maybe that's part of this long path that you've been on. Is that you thought it would all come so fast. You thought it was a union. You thought it was something that was ready-made and was happening. It's moving. Oh my goodness. Can you believe this is happening? Um, but it was really like that. It was a moment. But there is a lot of other stuff going on um, that time has brought out. So, this next one kind of says to me that somebody hasn't learned something, hasn't fully learned the lesson, has not gotten that hard won lesson, that hard won knowledge, even after going through all this. Hmm. Instead of getting it, they're crying alone, they're hiding the pain, they're keeping it all inside, and they're fighting it off. They don't even want to. They don't even want to go to where they need to go. But they have to go there. They may not have to do it in the way that somebody else wants them to do it, but this change, this tower, is inevitable. That's for their own good. That's something that's got to break down because it's not working anymore. It's not going to work in the future. Just, it's over. It's done. And it could be that this person is bringing like a version of this hard-earned knowledge into the situation, back to bear on this thing that could have been good, but somehow was just the very beginning of what turned out to be like a huge venture 
um, a mountain to climb up, if you will, another swell in the ocean. Um, yeah. It might be bringing something back to this, but it may just be wrong. <laughs> it may just be wrong. It may be, um, it just may be uh, not in the right spirit, not in the right tone, not actually the lesson that they even, not even the lesson that they really learned. Like, they're not saying the right thing. Like, they may have done that work and be ready to make this change, but somehow they're not ready to do it out loud. They're not ready. There's a pride issue. It's a pride issue. It's there. They know it on the inside. They feel it. But they're not ready to, to bring it out and to say it to the person to whom it matters. They're not ready for that. Hmm. And, um, yeah, so they're fighting it. They decide they can't win. <laughs> That's a lot of fighting got to do to save this off. Because <laughs> this is like a God, a God sanctioned, an angel sanctioned realization. It's a big change. It's got to happen. You don't have to do it somebody else's way, but you got to do it. So that's, I think, so, you know, yeah. Fighting it, just fighting it, tooth and nail the whole way. Hmm. Standing your ground, trying to stand your ground. But the ground is not solid. Hmm. You don't feel good about it, but you're not ready to change. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's my very ruminative, ruminative. Um, take on your the rest of your December Leo. So I would love to hear you post up in the comments and let me know if any of that resonated in any way with you. Um, as I was doing the reading, it resonated with some stuff that I know about going on with other people, but I'd be curious to know, because this is my first time doing it for YouTube, if it's just, you know, my own stuff that's affecting this, or if this is actually resonating with anyone. So please do comment if you watch this video, if you find this video somehow, please do comment and let me know if any of this, um, made sense to you or was relevant in your life for the month of December. 2014 for Vedic Leos. Um, thank you so much. And to all a good night. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.